maybe 10 years ago, we did a study across a lot of primary care practices in Kentucky about what they're commonly seeing. And low back pain was in the top five things that they would see on a day-to-day -day basis. The evidence shows more and more that it's a very complex process that we don't understand amongst the nerves and the muscles and all the parts of the person's body, and including your mental and emotional health. The treatments that we have as medical providers are frustratingly ineffective, and many of them are dangerous. Not every person with chronic low back pain receives opioid medications, but it has become a huge public health and personal health problem. These medications sensitize the person to pain. The longer you take them, the more you need. These medications usually bring increased suffering in the long term. There's lots of reasons that we all wish there were better and more evidence-based treatments to really help people with the pain that we understand that they're having. A pilot research study at the University of Kentucky examined what would happen if primary care providers referred patients with chronic low back pain to free alternative therapies. The study recruited primary care providers and clinical massage therapists in urban and rural practices in central Kentucky. Guidelines exist for treatment of chronic low back pain, and those guidelines recommend the use of these alternative therapies. However, they haven't been demonstrated in real world practice. We want to know if there are going to be side effects. We want to know if patients will accept them. We want to know how they work over a longer term. Those are important questions that this study will get to. What would happen if you were able to offer your patients massage therapy or a guided relaxation therapy program and they didn't have to pay for it? A lot of people may say, well, so what? Because in the real world, they would have to pay for it. But the way research progresses is when these things are tested in the right context, if they're proven to be effective, payers come along behind and begin to pay for these things. Many of our patients, and particularly those who need it the most, are often live month to month and it's something they feel they can't spend money on. This study offers these therapies at no cost, taking money out of the equation. It's sort of a first step toward what makes sense to cover for insurance companies or what people are willing to pay for out of pocket. The study of 100 patients looked at two alternative therapies. Progressive muscle relaxation or PMR is something patients could do at home with audio instructions guiding them through tensing and relaxing different muscle groups. Our body, if we stop and listen, will whisper to us, this is an issue. And if we keep ignoring it, it's, it gets to where it screams at us. And then is often when we do something about it. For the older population who thinks that aches and pains have to be part of growing older, this can maybe help them see, in addition to maybe some exercise and other things, a piece of what could help them not have to accept pain as part of their aging process. And so from a long-term perspective, they're breathing a little easier, they're sleeping better. So all of these systems, your immune system and your nervous system, are finally resting instead of firing the whole time. And so what this study says is you can send real-world, complicated people, which are people we see every day, into a massage setting and for the most part they're going to get something out of it and it's going to be beneficial and they're going to feel better and they're going to be yes i liked massage this was a real world study with real world results because we were able to engage our community partners physicians and massage therapists across the region while the pmr findings were less than expected we had quantifiable positive outcomes with massage therapy. In our next study, we will examine which patients benefit most from these treatments. We hope to bring new treatment options that will relieve suffering in Kentucky.